Hey guys, this is John, and I'm playing Songlo 209 in the five minute pool on ICC. Songlo likes to play uh, random openings, like moving the H pawn around uh, in seemingly random fashion. I'm actually going to go here and try to force a queen trade with him. Uh, kind of an unusual strategy, but you know, when you're playing a guy like this, <laughs> you got to be willing to mix it up a little bit, get him outside his comfort zone. So, needless to say, we have a pretty bizarre position developing. Uh, I'll just take here now. Maybe I can go and attack his knight. Um, I'll go queen b2. And let's cover the g3 square so he can't get any tactics in. Uh, maybe rook g1? Sure. He's going to castle. Okay, I'll castle queen side. I think this is okay. Um, be interesting if he played f5 right now. He does. Well, let's take it. We'll see how he reacts to this. Um, I think I should just hide my king. I think I should do that. Uh, let's go knight g3 now. Um, okay, he just let me take his queen for nothing. Um, let's go here. Uh, I don't know why Check. I did that. That was really dumb. Just losing stuff for no reason. I am completely winning, despite that inaccuracy. Completely and totally winning. Check. Let's see what he does about this. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be able to make it. All right. <laughs> I was just really sluggish that game. My queen d2 move was awful. I should have just taken on g7. So unlike a lot of people, Songlo actually does this uh, all the time, this type of opening. It's not just like his bullet opening. He actually like legitimately likes to do this like all the time. So he's got like a whole system down that he plays this way. I think it's... uh. It's weird, but, <laughs> you know, in bullet, like, what am I going to do against this? Um, like, here, I don't even know what to do. I'll just go bishop d7, because I honestly have no, no clue what else to do. Okay, I should go a6 next. See, now he'll start playing, like, good moves. Okay, I am losing a rook in the corner. All right. Let's just do that. Check. Yeah, losing material. Guess I'll go here. All right, this is resignable. <laughs> so you're seeing me lose to h5 and whatnot. I'll just go e4. Let's do this. Um, f4, sure. Now he'll do this queen a5 thing. Okay, let's go here. Check. Let's go back. I think I'm kind of letting him psych me out right now. Um, okay, that helps if he drops his queen. That helps a little bit if he does that. Just a little bit. He's still playing. Check. He's not going to give up. We'll just trade some pieces. <clears throat> check. Give a check. And then what? Maybe this move? Hit the rook. Hit the uh, knight on g4. He resigned. All right, well, I got one little bit of revenge. It's a good thing I have no shame in these bullet games, especially. I have some shame, but uh, not in bullet. So I don't feel bad about like struggling to get any advantage and not end up with a worse position against a move like h5 on move one. <laughs> but like I said, Sonolo has these systems. Like he's been doing this forever. It's like he he developed like a whole way of playing based on this move. And you can see it must be pretty successful for him because he's got a pretty good rating. 
Um, okay, so I'm one and two to start the session. I'm still above 2,500 in bullet. Not bad. Not a whole lot of action going on at the moment. Let's see if we can get paired with anyone decent. This game looks like it'll be over relatively soon. Yeah, white has the A pawn, so black can take in its mate next move. Okay. Unlikely I'll get paired. Well, I, th I thought it was unlikely I would get paired with Mamie. Who is this guy? Don't recognize this name. I'll check him after the game. Oh no, it's this system again. This system is the bane of my existence. This early Queenie 2 business. Now this position is okay for me. I've successfully avoided the worst of this. Okay, I'll go here. Um, against that, uh, I guess I'll just take it. This position's fine. Okay, he just dropped a piece. He's gonna play a5. He resigned, okay. Uh, Mamie is Luis Manuel Perez. In his finger notes, he says he's an IM, but he has the GM title, so he must have made GM relatively recently. Okay, um, just observe the highest rated one minute game again. Oh, it's Songlo. I wanna play Songlo again. Like, watch this game, like, guaranteed. Yeah, he does this against everyone. It's just not, it's not like he has a vendetta. It's just, this is what he does. He pushes his rook pawns. And he's got this entire system based around it. Often with an early queen f3. Kind of like our buddy Tu Huang, who also likes playing a queen side fianchetto combined with a queen f3 type move. Songlo, about to maybe flag someone? Nope. Maybe. Maybe. Ooh, that was close. All right, I'm getting Songlo again. Let's put a stop to his shenanigans. <laughs> so now he'll go into like uh, Bishop D2 prophylaxis against the uh, Queen A5 move. Yeah. Hmm. Let's go here. Um. Let's go here. Then let's go d5. We'll try to open the middle of the board. Uh, let's go here. Hmm. Don't know I'm doing a great job of getting compensation, but at least we're making it interesting. I'm going to sack a pawn. Another pawn. Then I'm going to go rook c1 and see if we can cause some ruckus. Check. <laughs> Mm. Check. That looks pretty good for me. <laughs> Although now, um, bishop g4 is a problem. I can go here, though. Oh, no queen e8. Check. Ooh, that's a fairly brutal move, I think, or I thought it was. Time Maybe warning. It's not so bad for him. Hmm. Okay, let's take. All right. Check. You can check on a5, this is true. Check. But. Check. I have this. No, he has knight takes f4. That was horrible. I can't believe I just did that. I honestly can't believe I just did that. Check. Check. All right, that was awful. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to, like, uh, outflank him. Like, literally outflank him by playing h4 on move 2. And then bishop d2 directed against his little queen a5 business. I actually had a pretty good position, though. I had a nice attack. Yeah, after he blundered f6, queen takes h5, I thought I had a mate or something. I couldn't find it. His knight held everything together. But then I got bishop b4, and ugh, his king was out on e6. What happened here? Check. His king was on f5 for a minute. Yeah, the only thing he has is knight takes f4, and I blundered right into it. Bad, bad, bad. Okay, so I'm at 2,500 now. Rating is taking a slight nosedive. I'm playing biggest foot. 
All right. Um, let's do this. Why not? Bothanic variation. Okay. Mm, B5. This is the way to handle this line. This is how you handle it. Queen takes. Um, okay, let's bring this bishop back. We'll castle short, too. I have no qualms about castling short in this position. Uh, let's go here. Maybe he'll sack. No, he's not going to sack. He can check on uh, f6 if he wants. But do I mind? Oh, that was a bad move by me. He actually missed queen g4 with mate to follow. It was fortunate for me that he missed that. So now I want to take care and defend my... Um... He might have knight takes f6 here, by the way. He's kind of missing it. Um, okay, let's just take this guy. How about that? Attack his queen and also hit the back rank. That's a nice move. You're not getting out of the back rank. <laughs> checkmate. Okay. Yeah, he had um, he had a checkmate in two. Right here. I played queen e7. He had queen g4. And, well, I guess technically I could play queen g5. But checkmate in three. Queen g4, queen takes g5, queen g7, mate. Got lucky. Okay. If you guys notice, knight f3 is my bullet opening. I play that a lot. It's just, I feel very comfortable with knight f3, and I feel it kind of messes with people. Like, there's transpositions and such that are possible with that move, so um, that's why I do it. Okay, this is already a little weird. Um, let's go a4, shall we? Let's just undermine the center. Maybe queen takes. His position is kind of a mess already. If he takes, now I'm threatening knight b6 at this point. Also knight e5 was possible. I could have played that last move. He should take on f3. This is what he should do. He just resigned. <laughs> okay. Play a couple more. Then I think I'm going to call it a session. Short-ish session today. Um, just not, not feeling it. And there's not a lot of uh, action today. But, you know, I will, of course, try my hardest on the games that I play. Songlo, he bummed me out. I scored one out of three against him. Songlo 209. Yeah, just not that many high-rated players playing in the moment, at the moment in the pool. So, okay. Scorpio. Uh, let's go here. Looks like we got another semi-slav going on. Miran, anti-Miran. We're playing a theoretical line. Theoretical line in a uh, fast game. Okay, that was funny. He thought I was going to take with the knight. <laughs> Let's play one more. Yeah, he he just assumed I was going to take with the knight on e5. Which is, um, in his defense, probably a better move. But Okay, last game. One more. I've had some funny um, pre-move attempts played against me recently. I don't think I've committed any like pre-move blunders, but I seem to be catching people in them. Where's Song Lo? I want to go out on the Song Lo game. Hmm. He's on. He's just not playing right now. Check, see who's playing GM versus GM game. Gross 74, Andre Nikitin. Hmm. Maybe C4, undermine. Yep, he plays it. C4 again. Queen takes D5 coming. Take on D6. And then take on F1. Two minors for white. Technically winning position. 
black going after the C pawn. Probably rook C1 will be played. Rook C3. Knight back to A5. This is fun, trying to predict moves. Bishop takes D6. Bishop B4. Nope. Okay. <laughs> My streak is over. Bishop A6. Yeah. Rook A8. C6. Okay, black resigned. All right, Voldemar. This, this will be our last game. GM Voldemar. A lot of random Grandmasters playing one minute. It's good to see. We need more of that, you know. Okay, Bishop G5 I'll play. We'll Check. go here. This is just a safe line. Very safe variation. Um, let's go here. Because I don't want to run into Knight takes D4. Anything like that. He's going to be playing to uh, defend his pawn on c4. I probably don't have full compensation right now, but the position will remain interesting, so let's just continue playing as if we do have full compensation for the pawn. He'll play c6 probably. Well, that move surprises me a little bit. Um, b3? I don't know. Let's just do it. And uh, f4. Gotta go for something. I cannot sit here and say that my position is good, but I'll do my best with what I have. Okay, he's kind of threatening bishop g5, so I should probably defend against that. What was that move? That looks like a mouse slip. I think he meant to take on d1. <laughs> so I benefited from a little mouse slip there. Okay, now I can go to this, and then I'm threatening queen g6, actually. It's kind of a funny move. Just as a way Check. to get at his uh, his back rank. Um, let's go queen f5. Time warning. We'll go bishop e6. Hmm. I'll go here and attack his bishop. Maybe here. He can take on e3 if he wants. Okay, so to end the session, and let's just check who Voldemar was, by the way. Vladimir Petkov. Okay, so in this session, I scored 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I played 9 games, and I lost 3, so 6 and 3. 6 and 3. Lost a few rating points. Where are we at on the best list? Not a whole lot of movement, probably, hanging around down here. Yeah. Okay. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this session. I am going to go back to the lab and try to figure out how to beat Songlo with his random H-pawn pushes, whether he's white or black, no matter what. <laughs> so pretty sure the way I played in this game is not the way to combat it. Although I did have like the best chance in this game. Um, well, I did win that one game, but he dropped his queen. But playing H4, this is when you know your opponent's inside your head, when I'm playing like moves directed against his his bad lines <laughs> so all right well thank you guys for watching i'll be back tomorrow with another bullet video talk to you guys later have a good one